we'll be showing how you can use Remote Winbox to connect to both Winbox and also an API service like Micmon or MTICVG or any other API-based software. To get started, I've already logged into my account and in the dashboard, I'm going to click on Add Router. So go ahead and give this device a nickname. I'm going to call this ESX CHR API because it's in my lab. Customize the port if that's appropriate for your installation. In my case, I'm running Winbox on the default port. Select the subnet if you need to change it from 172.10 or 192. If you would like to change it to read-only permissions, go ahead and do that. I'm a premium subscriber, so I want all the extras that premium features support, so I'm gonna leave it on full. And then you'll notice when I click the slider here, it will unlock the ability to change the API port and add this as a premium API supported router. And that will work for MTICVG, Micmon, or any other API-based router software that you might be using with your Microtik. Once I've selected all these items, I'm just gonna hit submit. Great, so at this point, like any other router, I'm gonna highlight the config that I need to apply to the router, right-click, copy, and move over to my router, right-click, paste, and I'll see it within a minute come up on the dashboard. So now that I've got things all set up, it's super easy for me to manage with Winbox using this URL. And then if I want to use any API-based service like the MTIC VG that we just showed, I can use this URL and get in there. Thanks for watching from Remote Winbox and have a great day.